Hello everyone, my name's Rachel Bright and I'm an author and illustrator of picture books and it's super exciting to be here with you today to share one of my stories and this book I worked on with the wonderful Chris Chatterton who did the gorgeous illustrations for this book and it's a story all about how if you're feeling a little bit worried inside how you might be able to set some of those worries free so that you can enjoy the moment. And this story is called The Worry Source. On a hot and sunny morning under lovely clear blue skies, a little worry saurus was opening his eyes. <clears throat> he brushed his tiny pointy teeth, then washed his top and tail. He packed a little bag of snacks and set off on a trail. He skipped along with happy legs across the golden sand and thought about the day that he had plotted, sketched and planned. A lovely, yummy picnic, a delicious summer spread. Worrysaurus liked it when he knew what lay ahead. But he hadn't gotten far, you see. It hadn't been that long before his busy head dreamed up some things that might go wrong. Had he made enough to eat today and bought enough to drink? This worry Saurus often was a one to overthink. What if I get lost, he thought, or trip and have a fall? His happy legs were slowing to a snuffly, shuffly crawl. Worry Saurus liked it when he felt he was prepared. Unexpected happenings, they made him feel quite scared. So when? Suddenly, from nowhere, a lizard skittered by, shouting in a squeal, squeaky yelp and pointing at the sky. I think a storm is coming. I heard it's on its way. Well, that really put a cloud above his worry Saurus day. A storm, said worry Saurus, when it's so dry and hot and sunny. But the news became a butterfly that flittered in his tummy. I'm not ready for the rain, he said. I haven't got my wellies. His teeth began to chatter and his knees, they turned to jellies. And all the while the sky was blue, the sun, it shone and shone. But now his lovely picnic thoughts were definitely gone. Should he find a cave to shelter or run back home and hide? His little worry butterfly grew very strong inside. Oh, what he saw us. But then he thought of something that his mummy liked to say. Oh, my little worry Saurus, chase that butterfly away. Don't you worry now, my lovely. You must try not to fret. If it's not a happy ending, then it hasn't ended yet. So he reached it into his bag just then to find a little tin. It helped him with his worries. It had happy things with him. A special stick, his teddy Ned, a pebble and a letter. And as he held them one by one, so everything felt better. Then he put away his tin and all the worries in his head, freed his little butterfly for happy thoughts instead. I'll stand up tall, I can be strong, I'll chase my fears away. All is good and all is well and everything's okay. And with those little wordlings, he calmed his busy brain. Since when the sun is shining, why worry it will rain? So he shared his little picnic with the lizard in the sun and they laughed at all their worrying and really had some fun. Since when you're in the moment, there's no need to run or hide. And then the only butterflies will be the ones outside. And that's the story of the little worry Saurus that he's chasing his little worry butterfly away. And isn't that a wonderful story all about how if ever you're feeling a little bit worried or you've got that flittery fluttery butterfly in your tummy, then maybe there's a few things that will help you feel better like remembering the thing that you're worrying about might not have even happened yet. Or perhaps it was something that's already happened, but you can forget about it now. And setting that worry butterfly free will help you feel a lot, lot better. 
Maybe you've got a teddy like Ned, like the Warisaurus has, or something happy that makes you feel good. Whatever it is, I hope that you can set all your worry butterflies free and the only butterflies for you will be the ones on the outside. Thank you so much for sharing the story with me today and I hope to share some more with you in the coming times. Lots of love. Bye.